This is a short tutorial on optimizing SQL queries. Um, we're going to start out by looking at a real life query and we'll run it to see how long it takes. So let's go ahead and grab this query. Okay, so we're going to start out with this uh, multicolored product query. This thing takes a little while to, to do. So we're going to skip the create table portion because we do have some optimizations that we want to do on how the table is created. So we're just going to start with the select move all the way down bring this over into workbench paste and then we need to fill these in we're going to use product 21 there should be no s there okay and we filled in all the 21's that we need <clears throat> now we don't need to run it but I am going to run it just to see how long it takes let's go ahead and copy this we're going to paste it directly into the CLI and see how long it takes to run. So now I've got the query all filled out. We're going to do this for product 21. I'm going to start with explain because this is going to take a few minutes. And we'll just go ahead and hit explain. It's going to run that query and give us some information back. <clears throat> now this is some very important information and specifically we're going to be looking at type here to optimize this query. Now there's a couple of different types that we see in here. Um, we want to look at a few things. First, are we properly utilizing keys um, and the possible keys? So here we got four nulls, so we're going to need to look at that. We need to look at the key length. So if we have the key length is extraordinarily long, that takes longer, obviously, to compare. And these key lengths are four, which means they're integers, and that's absolutely fine. So that's, that's very, very nice. So the next thing we're going to look at is the reference. This shows what's compared to. Um, ideally, we want this to say const because that's usually the fastest. But uh, if it's not const, then it's going to be the actual thing that it's comparing. In this case, it's participant ID, organization ID, color, and a few other things. So let's see if that uh, has finished. It did. That query took 1 minute and 59 seconds to execute. So that's, that's kind of a long time. Um, now, if we go through and look at these, we can look at the query itself and see if we can get rid of some of these problems. The first thing we want to get rid of is type all. Uh, all means it's doing a full table scan. That is as slow as it can get. So this is a derived table. We're going to come back to the derived table later. Let's go ahead and look at primary 21 and come up here and see what are we doing with primary 21. And by the way, this should be top to bottom what we're joining in order. Um, nope, it's doing it based on the execution strategy and that's fine. So. <clears throat> Let's look at uh, primary 21 is doing an all, but what are we joining on primary 21? So if we come here, we're looking primary 21 is participant ID. So let's go to 21. We're going to look at indexes. There are no indexes whatsoever. So let's go ahead and create one. Type is an index and uh, let's go ahead and put our column in there as a participant ID. Hit apply apply. Okay, that's done. Let's come back to our explain query and rerun this. Okay, so now we have a reference and references are fairly fast. Um, it would be better if it was unique, but we can't do that with participant ID. Um, well, maybe we can. Let's try. Let's see if we can make this reference here. Let's make this column a unique column. Apply. Nope, because there are duplicate IDs. And so that can happen because we, and probably should happen because we have multiple products. There's a one to many relationship there. We have multiple products in uh, 21 because of the different colors that can be related to a single participant. So let's revert that, put it back where it was. Go back over here and move down to our next all. So SW contacts. Let's see what SW contacts is doing. That again is uh, optimized on participant ID. So let's jump over to SW contacts. Come over to look, take a look at our indexes. We have one primary index, which is contact ID, but participant ID is not indexed. So let's index it. Hit apply. Okay, apply. Close. Close this table. Close that table because we're done with that. Rerun our explain. See how many alls we have left. And for whatever reason, I'm having to hit the cleanup query before running this so that it will run. 
and we're back now we have just one more all before we go and hit that derived table so SW participants um, this select type is a derived um, so uh, and then this one is a derived table so let's go ahead and deal with this because it is on a table that exists and that's again it's an also participant store photo what are we doing with participant store photo we are looking at a product ID so this is partic the only place the participant store photo is showing up here is this particular product ID I'm just double checking yep so participant store photo probably needs a product ID as its index let's go look at our indexes participant ID is indeed there but my product ID is not so let's go ahead and add IDX product ID there and use this guy apply apply Now this is a rather large table and one of the things that it's doing with this index is building the B tree so executing the SQL statement might take a little while okay that was done we can close that out now and rerun our explain so now we've got all of these done except for this derived table now a derived table is really this is where we're doing this select here from as t so and that's our derived table there's really no good way um, that I know of at the moment I might learn that later there's no good way to put primary keys and indexes in a derived table um, I, you can probably look that up in the docs and maybe I'm wrong in fact I'm probably wrong it seems like that should be something that's there but since that's a derived table and the rest of these all have indexes let's go ahead and um, re-execute this from the CLI and we'll see how long it takes and you can see that was way faster so that executed in 1.2 seconds that's a tremendous increase in speed um, we can go ahead and come up here let's hit explain get rid of that let's run it in here and uh, yeah it's a 1.15 seconds and then the fetch was 0 0.213